Hello everyone, I am Dr. Priya Sipaha. My topic for today is Distinction between Complaint and FIR. Whenever any offence is committed in the society, there are certain documentation or records which is needed to take action before starting the criminal procedure. FIR and complaint are one of those prerequisites. There are broadly two types of offences. The one is cognizable offences and the another one is non-cognizable offences. The meaning of cognizable offences is there are certain cases in which a police officer may arrest without a warrant in accordance with the first schedule of CRPC or under any other law for the time being in force. Whereas non-cognizable offence means a case in which a police officer has no authority to arrest without warrant. That means in cognizable offence an arrest can be made without a warrant and in non-cognizable offence arrest cannot be made without warrant. Complaint is described under section 2D of CRPC which says that complaint means any allegation made orally or in writing to a magistrate with a view to his taking action under the code of criminal procedure that some person whether known or unknown has committed an offence but it does not include a police report. That means to constitute a complaint there must be an allegation made with a view to the recipient taking action under the code charging some person with a particular offence. Secondly, a complaint need not necessarily be made by the person aggrieved but may be made by any person aware of the offence. Thirdly, a complaint need not specify any offender or even the section of the law which makes the act or omission punishable. Although, when after investigation it is discovered that offence is non-cognizable, a police report in a, in a case can also be considered as a complaint. In such a condition, the officer who prepares the report is known to be as complainant. And the magistrate can also take a cognizance of certain offences which has been described under section 190 of CRPC. It explains that subject to the provisions of this chapter, any magistrate of the first class and any magistrate of the second class specially empowered in this behalf under subsection 2 may take cognizance of any offences. First, upon receiving a complaint of facts which constitute such offence, second, upon a police report of such fact, and third, upon information received from any person other than a police officer or upon his own knowledge that such offence has been committed. The Chief Judicial Magistrate may empower any magistrate of the second class to take cognizance under subsection 1 of such offences as are within his competence to inquire into or try. That means a magistrate also have power to take cognizance of a certain offences. FIR or First Information Report In criminal law, FIR is the report of information that the police receives first in point of time regarding the commission of the cognizable offences. I have already explained the meaning of cognizable offences that it refers to the crime in which the police has the right to arrest the accused without any warrant and can start an investigation. FIR has been described under section 154 of CRPC. It explains that every information related to the commission of a cognizable offence, if given orally to an officer in charge of a police station, shall be reduced to writing by him or under his direction and be read over to the informant and every such information, whether given in writing or reduced to writing as aforesaid, 
shall be signed by the person giving it and the substance thereof shall be entered in a book to be kept by such officer in such form as the state government may prescribe in this behalf. A copy of the information as recorded under subsection 1 shall be given forthwith free of cost to the informant. Any person aggrieved by a refusal on the part of officer in charge of a police station to record the information referred to in subsection 1 may send the substance to such information in writing and by post to the superintendent of police concerned who if satisfied that such information discloses the commission of a cognizable offence shall either investigate the case himself or direct an investigation to be made by any police officer subordinate to him in the manner provided by this code and such officer shall have all the powers of an officer in charge of the police station in relation to that offence. Information overload. Let's understand the process of FIR in a simpler way. First of all, there must be a cognizable offence. Then the FIR in the police station will be orally described by the aggrieved party or a victim in front of the officer in charge. Then that particular officer in charge will reduce to writing or direct any other person to do so. After that, it should be read over to the informant. Then it should be signed by the person giving it. That means either the aggrieved party or the victim himself. Later on, it shall be entered in a book by the officer in charge and must be kept in the prescribed form by the state government. A copy of the information must be given immediately free of cost to the informant. If the officer in charge of the police station refuse to record the information, the aggrieved party may send the substance of such information in writing or by post to the superintendent of police. And if the superintendent of police will be satisfied that such information discloses the commission of a cognizable offence, he shall either investigate the case himself or direct an investigation to be made by any officer subordinate to him and such officer shall have the powers of an officer in charge of the police station in relation to that offence. The basic difference between FIR and complaint. A written document prepared by the police when the police get the first information about the commission of a crime is known as FIR or first information report. Whereas the petition filed with the magistrate that contains an acquisition regarding the commission of an offence and a prayer is made that the accused should be penalized is called complaint. FIR can only be registered in the format prescribed by the law, whereas complaint has no prescribed format. FIR is lost to the police officer of the respective police station, whereas complaint is made to the magistrate. FIR is made for only cognizable cases. However, the complaint is made for both cognizable and non-cognizable offenses. Any aggrieved party, witnesses, or the person having the knowledge of crime can file FIR. Whereas, any person can make a complaint to the magistrate regarding the offence except in the case of marriage and defamation wherein only a grief party can make a complaint. This is all about the distinction between FIR and complaint. If you want a detailed note, you may visit to my website that is www.priyasipaha.com. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.